District 9 might end up being the Matrix of 2009. Uh, it's, it's a movie that combines a variety of factors, an inventive marketing campaign that kind of leaves people in the dark, and uh, a look that may not be revolutionary, but is certainly something we haven't necessarily seen uh, all thrown together. You know, you've got this kind of faux documentary style employed through much of the film, which follows uh, the travails of a MNU, multinational united, uh, worker who is trying to kind of evict these aliens who have crash landed on Earth 28 years ago from, from their home and move them into District 10. Uh, the, the, the great thing about this movie is just the, the absolute frenetic pace of the action sequences, uh, especially in the last 20 minutes or so of the film. Uh, you know, you, you've got a combination of, of kind of cinema verite, but also giant robots and, and aliens fighting each other. It's really a unique mix. And it's something that I don't think we've seen a lot of before. Um, you know, this is, it's not a perfect movie, and it, it, it drags a little bit uh, towards the middle. And the, this faux documentary style that they employ kind of gets dropped and then picked back up and then dropped again, and it's a little jarring. But all those quibbles aside, it's a fantastic movie, very fun. Uh, people are going to have a great time. Uh, if you're into the whole kind of sci-fi uh, alien thing, then this is for you. Uh, go, you'll have a good time.